I've got my money, I've got my water. All I need is for a number two or a number four bus. Number two bus. <laughs> like saying the bus for shit. Oh, my French. Just got off the bus. The number, I think it's the number four bus. You can also take the number two bus. Same route, just different numbers. And uh, I am in walking distance of the monument of three fists. Yes. So it should only take me a little while to walk there and then I can walk all the way back to the bus stop and get a bus back into town for another 67 dinner. See, there it is. It's looking at that, it tells you it's not far from here. My guidebook or map tells me this. During World War II, German Nazis shot between 10 and 15,000 residents of Nice and South East Serbia on Bujan Hill. After the war, the execution site was transformed into a memorial park and with a monument in the shape of three clenched fists, symbolizing the existence of men, women, and children who died on the location. So, I'm getting really close into it now. Should be on this side. But I have to keep walking. And I'm just walking up a narrow street, and there's cars coming up and down this hill. A not so stunning entrance to. Uh, the Memorial Park, but please be in mind 10 to 15,000 people perished here. So there was nothing pretty about war, and there was nothing pretty about death. Now, when you come to think about like Yugoslavia in a whole, had to do with certain types of enemies. You know, the Italians, they really wanted that part of Croatia. They, they really wanted Pula, uh, but they didn't get it. That was Mussolini. And then you know, Hitler also invaded. And, all, and then also the Hungarians, back by Germany, the Iron Cross, they also invaded too. Because they really wanted it to get Vojvodina back. And you know, when I came to Serbia five years ago, I literally had no idea there was any concentration camps in this country. Like, I knew that Yugoslavia in Hull had dealt with war in all major parts of the country. That's a pathway. I'm kind of glad it's open to the public. There's no like, major barriers, I don't think. But, you know, I'm just kind of glad I came here early while it's sundown. And here it is. Even though the sun is going down on it, you can still see three tall peel fists. 15,000 people died in this area in World War II. It wasn't just a concentration camp like there was in the north and east. This was actually a killing field. Now when I see these stands and seats over here, it kind of makes me think like, were they even here at the time in the 1940s when all the killings happened? Like, you know, people just like, sitting there before they get like brought to the killing fields. Maybe it's not. According to maps I saw on the site, if I follow this path Past the, past the amphitheater, I should be able to find a monument somewhere on this path. Um, in the distance, I could see some sort of like 
you know, there's like a tape here, it's like I got an umbrella. So I mean, maybe that is it. But um, there's one rant I've got to say right now. All right, this place is where 10 to 15,000 people were killed. I find it really disrespectful. People are playing football and they're playing loud music and having picnics in this area when people died here like over 80 years ago. I mean, people, show some respect, okay? Like, have some common sense to those people who were killed tragically. I mean, in Australia, I would not be playing handball outside the War Memorial, or I would not be playing handball outside of like Buckingham Palace, or, um, you know, or the 7-7 Memorial here at Hyde Park. You know, people just need to be courteous. And we have now found a memorial. It has a white star. So this is in honor of all those Yugoslavs and Tito's army who died. Um, I can't really read, but this was installed in 1950. Yes, so to, I would assume that this is commemorating all people of Yugoslavia in Tito's army who perished in this area. Because like, I, I think it's like, it has a different connection because I mean like, this seems like to be like an army monument for that star. And then down through all there, so there's a memorial to the killing fields. And I'm certain they've got like a plaque with names and all that up there. So I'm gonna like, go find that now. And as part of the complex, there's a very moving memorial wall. It's like people with guns, people hanging, being shot, people lying down, and then people like, you know, with a fist in the air rise above, you know? Like, the Nazis won't kill us, but we will win. And that's what happened in World War II. There are two similar looking statues in Nice. One is like the liberation of Nice, and two is of um, the King of Serbia. So the one we just saw earlier today, that is of a previous King of Serbia. Now this one we're going to see like the liberator of Nice. I think it's like built to honor those men and women who died fighting against the Ottoman Empire and the War of Serbian Independence. So let's go check it out now.